Good morning, folks. This is uh, Labor Day uh, 2020, and uh, just really tickled to have all these guys here. And I have an actual addition to the team here today. Give me just a moment. Amazon decided to ship my storm shutout finally. I thought it was going to be September 22nd to the October 18th, but it came in sooner. And what a pleasant surprise. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this packaging real quick like we do with all the G.I. Joe classified figures. And he's number 14. There's his stats if you want to look those up. He's got the same kind of backing. I thought he was like maybe Cobra Island or some other kind of, because it was from Amazon that I got it. But anyway, I guess it's not exclusive. Just another one of the ones they get slotted to get. There's some really cool artwork there on the side of Storm Shadow. And of course, there is the other pose. I like to put the box in so you can see the whole art there on the side. It's worth a look every time. Let me get him box, get into his accessories, and uh, we'll get him out here with the rest of them here in just a moment. Thanks again for watching. Those who have not subscribed, please do so down below. Uh, check out my description and hit the links. Visit my Patreon. And uh, I do appreciate anybody and everybody that helps me out to make the channel better as we keep moving forward. Thanks again. And uh, we'll look at these accessories next. And like most of the G.I. Joe uh, classified series so far, the six inch line comes packed with accessories. There's his hood and cow that is slightly lifted up inside the box, makes it look a little goofy. When I took it off, he's got his quiver. Nicely detailed in gold. It's got the Arigashi symbol. Uh, I probably brutalized that. And uh, anyway, just looks magnificent there. I don't know if I can get it into focus. Eh. Okay, so it wasn't meant to be. But very, very nicely detailed. It's got the peg for the back. He comes with a bow with no string. I might actually try to do something there with that a little bit later to. to Make it more realistic. Uh, we got a single white arrow, but his other feathers are, or his other arrows are gold. Um, nicely painted silver uh, katana there that he has with his katana quiver, which is done in all white for this deco. He has a white, solid white sickle and a grappling hook with rope string. I'm not going to undo that. Probably is going to go straight to the, you know, G.I. Joe classified bag. I got a lot of the stuff uh, for these guys. The stuff I'm not using inside of the actual football case, but it's getting full fast because uh, it has been quite a bit of stuff. But this guy, again, with the, the, the he's got, you know, full 360 there at the head. Not that you ever want to do, you know, that whole spasm thing. He can look up so far because of this back piece right here. He can look down that far. He's got the ab crunch going down. It's a little bit like he's bowing. So, I mean, anyway, uh, Storm Shadow is not super honorable. But what's really cool on this is how this whole shoulder piece is a separate piece. And it rotates all the way around with the whole outfit. You still got all the way out there. You got the butterfly still they really did do a really super job in getting these guys and thought out let's not break the pieces but give them the armor still and whatnot he's got the waist swivel he's got the full elbow going on i want to say like with snake eyes he's got the he's got a pivot there somewhere yep he's got a pivot like this so he can do different things with the sword that way um he's got i want to say he's got the Yes, he does. Got the thigh swivel that goes down to get kicks. This the soft rubbery thing, it'll hinder some of the movement there. But uh, just all the articulations there still, whatnot. And oh, he doesn't have said thigh swivel that the other guys have got. Oh well. Him and Baroness are the two so far. They don't have that articulation because of the way the detail of the boot is uh, configured there. Take a look around the back side. You can see how things will work out there to outfit him up with his uh, gear here. And uh, let me get that all done and said, and then we'll go through some other stuff, maybe a couple more poses, and then put him with the group shot with some final thoughts. Give me just a moment. Thank you again for watching. And here is Arctic Mission Storm Shadow all geared up with his bow. Uh, sickle in hand. Keep going around the back there. 
you can see that you can get both the quiver and the sword sheath to peg in all together there if you like that option you can actually take the bow and stuff off and uh, give him just his uh, sword as well give me just a moment and here is storm shadow uh, all like uh, how I'll probably just display him this thing keeps getting in fight with the, the back side of the back with a piece there so I do like the solid black head there storm shadow has got on his uh, for his default head the eye and sculpt work is magnificent on this figure as you can see there he, he's just got a serious look in his face uh, so anyway I uh, really do like the way that he looks in this outfit in his garb it was unexpected to get a different looking uh, storm shadow right off bat and uh, so anyway as a completionist I'd say you'd want to get a hold of storm shadow and uh, he'll do well to stand in until his actual looking counterpart comes in uh, as this was the Arctic mission storm shadow and there's usually a traditional white with some other you know G1 detailing but that said aside it's still not a bad figure but it's not one of my favorites uh, I like actually Red Ninja and his posability a bit more uh, and I got another one of them hopefully so I'll have two of him and two of the troopers that's all I'm going to do for army building in my early classified s series here uh, for the the cover trooper and the red ninja and then hopefully we're not too far behind of getting another one of that but my cobras are now in my line actually outnumber my joes I've only got beachhead and snake eyes and I got a roadblock on one that hopefully get a review up pretty soon too here and anyway that's just uh, this is a look at what I've got for G.I. Joe classified this line is definitely took me by storm even though uh, he's not my favorite, he still looks stunning. Uh, really do like what they did with the shoulders there. Hate that they got shorted on some other ninja posability there in the legs. Anyway, uh, and uh, this is some of not my favorite accessories just because this gets in the way. And then, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just really hard to do, to do that one. Uh, I guess you could have him stabbing with the arrow in some poses or whatnot. And anyway. Uh, I can't speak highly enough about the line though and so you you need to get him to be a completionist and or just get the original uh, class act there but anyways that'll about do it for my Cobras uh, I say you know if you're a fan you, you're not going to go wrong getting these guys and thank you again for watching uh, have a good day take care